corner, fighting out of Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 208 pounds, with a professional record of 20 wins, no defeats, 16 KOs. He is a former undisputed cruiserweight champion of the world and is the challenger, ladies and gentlemen. Here is Evander Holyfield. And in the red corner, fighting out of Miami Beach, Florida, weighing in at 225 pounds. His professional record consists of 37 wins, one defeat, two draws, with 23 KOs. He is a former WBA heavyweight champion of the world and is the current Continental America's heavyweight champion. Here is Dynamite, Michael. WBA heavyweight champion is going to apply pressure. The fact that it's the boxing future of two men. Well, they certainly have lived up to their billing. Very heavy shots to the body by Dokes. Punches to one. White trunks. Oh, right in front of him. Although Ludo was screaming, turn him, turn. Especially at the start. Holyfield has to go after Dokes. Feels superior reflexes are evident. Well, there's no denying the skills of these two fighters. No doubt. Got because Dynamite is working hard. Dokes working hard on the body of Holyfield. Holyfield coming. One favoring Holyfield. This morning, it was free. And he certainly held his face. Dokes trying to outspeed him, but can't. Oh, another low blow. That's superiority. Both trying to get respect. And they come out with a furious exchange to begin the second. Dokes landed, might have been a low blow, a right by Holyfield, and a left by Holyfield to the head. Now another right by Holyfield. Holyfield landing clean blows to the head of Dokes. Dokes concentrating on the body and leaving his head wide open. That first round was a blazer, and this is a corker opening up from the second round. Look at the body shots that Dokes is putting in. At 20 pounds more, he wants Holyfield. He wants to get him down off his shots, give angles, and not get to zing very hard punches. Combination by Holyfield, but Holyfield trying to prove to the boxing world that, he, that he'd like to KO Michael Dokes. Low blows again by Dokes. To the head, go Andrew Holyfield. Both of a lot to gain, but Holyfield risking his status. Holyfield. It's Dokes. It's Dokes' mouthpiece. Dokes pouring in, going to the body. Holyfield, his quickness, able to elude those punches. You're going to be able to tell the effect of those in another few rounds. He's now landing flush to the face as Dokes. Back comes Holyfield with some good shots to the head. Oh, a crisp right upper punch rains on Holyfield without an answer. This fight goes beyond four or five rounds. Coming on with his early attack. Hard attack to the head of Holyfield. He's a bit frustrated. Not only frustrated, he looks tired and he looks a little hurt. He's a surprise. Holyfield has taken big shots. Coming seemed to come back with his own attack. That left was a grazing punch by Dokes. Dokes showing a lot towards the end of round three. Well, so far, this fight living up to reputation, it has been. That's what you call a lottery punch. You just take your shots around. He just stands still. I think both the favorites of the crowd and certainly sentimental come back from sheer hell. What Dwight Muhammad Kawi in the hospital. After that severe action, Dukes is trying to lose. What a well-conditioned athlete as Holyfield. He's taking body shots that should make time. In this uh, round, good shots using that big weight to maul and confuse and frustrate. Oh, he's gotten hurt. He's got Holyfield hurt. He's got Holyfield in some trouble. In the eye. But his legs went wobbly. He's back now, but boy, for a split second there, it looked... Dokes continues to use the pressure and lean. Uppercuts to the head, snapping Holyfield's head back. Now Holyfield turns Dokes around. The 20-pound heavier Dokes back then. That's the... Dokes in the white, Holyfield in the blue. Holyfield doubling up on the jab. And then the right. No question, this corner sent him out to win this round. They said, hey, you blew that last one. If on Dokes, but back comes Dokes. Because he feels he's the bad boy of Las Vegas, he feels the judges.
Don't like him. One. Oh, one point away. Unfortunate. That means don't. And it'll also change his. Oh, great job of Amanda Holyfield without effect. Oh, and he comes back. There's Holy just to land with those short, crisp punches inside. Amanda Holyfield. Somehow, Dynamite managed an even round so that he only lost one point. I still have it 58 56. Evander Holyfield ahead by two points. White. It's from above his left eye. Oh, and there goes the mouthpiece of Dokes again. Holyfield trying to take advantage. But Dokes is the man punching. Now, Dokes was severely hurt. He's fighting back on guts now. He was severely hurt. If Holyfield can mount this attack, he may end this now. Dokes will not let Holyfield mount him. That was just pure heart on the part of Dokes. He was severely hurt. He still hurt. Combination by Holyfield to the face of Dokes. Now, Dokes champion, but he and his manager, Marty Cohen, are used to What an exchange there. A big shot by Holyfield who opens up. Right. There's another right by Holyfield. A left by Holyfield tagging Dokes who stays up and continues to throw punches. From Come left field, on, from the guys. parking lot. What a round for Holyfield in the white. So Dokes is now battling back from a uh, point. Oh, look at Dokes go. Michael Dokes. And it's coming to fruition. Well, he's fighting under disadvantage. Tough to worry about while you're trying to take care of this. Young could easily be a 10 8 round because they took a point away from Dokes. Now, Michael Dokes. Yeah, Holyfield's not in the best shape of his life just now. Holyfield takes oh, right hand. A twisting right by Dokes. A combination by Dokes. Holyfield comes back with a lift. Holyfield coming back with everything he's got. A lot of guts to Holyfield because he's been hammered. He's throwing everything in those punches. And they are landing. Heavyweights could pound each other this way without. But he's had a big lead in this round. Questions 
Has he got guts? You bet. Can he punch? You bet. And has he got the courage to stay in there with a guy who's got the willpower of Michael Dope? You bet, you bet, and you bet. Two courageous fighters being saluted here by this capacity crowd at Caesars Palace. Michael Dokes KO'd here in the tent by Evander Holyfield, who is now 3 0 as a heavyweight and proving that he does have knockout power. Here's the setup punch. It's coming up. And that's the one that did the damage. It's sort of a left uppercut. A cross between an uppercut and a hook, and it was all over for Dokes. It was just window dressing after that. But even so, even so, Dokes fought back. I mean, where in that massive chest cavity can you find a heart as big as Dokes? Even so, he was fighting back. No legs to keep him up. Nothing to absorb the punch, and he was finished. You see him? He's gone. And, of course, needless to say, the referee over in a minute, so was his corner. No problem stopping the fight. Watch this shot. That is just absolutely a beautiful hook. The effect had been building up all night long as Holyfield rained punch after punch on the durable Dokes, who took a long time in leaving. A dramatic conclusion to an incredible fight. And I have to come back with the thought, Steve, that off of this fight, Dokes has lost nothing. He has gained stature as an opponent. If he goes back and wins a couple of good fights, he is in, in position to fight Tyson. I know that sounds ridiculous when a guy gets knocked out, but it's not, given the dearth of heavyweights. Chuck Holm in the center of the ring has the official word. Ladies and gentlemen, the time, one minute, 41 seconds. Of the 10th round, the winner by a TKO,